Ó, aqui ao meu lado eu tenho um geninho, a Alex Jordan. Ela tem 11 anos, já é o segundo hackathon que ela participa aqui no TechCrunch Disrupt. Dessa vez ela fez um projeto que os pais dela são separados. Então ela, des ela desenvolveu um, um sistema que é uma espécie de agenda para poder organizar melhor a vida de quem mora em várias casas. So Alex, so first of all, tell us what was your idea? How did you this? Why did you decide to develop it? Uh, my idea was fantastic, and I wanted to do fantastic because um, I. We would have times where uh, we didn't know which child was staying with mom, dad, grandma, grandpa. Um, and it's a shared calendar that, um, t t that shows you what, uh, who's, who you're staying with. Uh, yeah, but it's different from Google Calendar or Google Agenda or Apple. Why, why did you decide to, to make a new one, a different one? Well, the reason is because if you go on Apple and Google ca Calendar, you have mom with a Google phone, dad with an Apple phone, and you don't, it's very hard to coordinate because you have to take a screenshot, text it, they take a screenshot, they text it back. It's very complicated, but with this, it, you just have it all in one. So you don't have to do that huge process of screenshotting and texting. You, you just have it all on your phone or computer. And I read, read you did it in a weekend, right? Was it that fast? Um, we had to plan it beforehand on like the Friday, Thursday and Friday. And uh, then me and him both uh, went did the hackathon together. I did the HTML, we, he did the Ruby on Rails. We kind of like a little team. And yes, we did it, we, uh, did it in the weekend. Uh, we. Um, made it so it was pre presentable and um, we got the main um, what it is going to be down. You also program in Ruby, right? Uh, well, um, I, I used to do Ruby, but um, I kind of uh, got more into HTML, so uh, he did most of the Ruby. I did the HTML. And I know, uh, well, I can see by your church, you have the Girls Tech Club in our school. What about the other girls at your school? Do they program as well? Um, well, honestly, I don't know because um, you, you don't really, sh nobody really shows any interest in it except mostly the boys. And I really, I think that, I thought that we should maybe have more girls doing it because it's, um, around, I'm in sixth grade and that's around the age where a lot of girls kind of just float off into other things that's not tech and we need more girls in tech. So. I thought we should do a girls tech club, which um, which is having a bunch of gr girls come together um, and le learning how to code, starting with the basics, um, like what computer is, what it does, um, and then kind of going step by step. And we're hoping to get it to one point where we can have a big table of girls just at a hackathon, all, all working together and like pair programming. You, uh, we're t we were talking before start, rec start recording then, and then you said there's a possibility that a Apple headquarters, that you go to Apple headquarters to make this Girls Tech Club, right? So what do you think about that? It's Apple. It, it's, it sounds really awesome. Um, the Apple campus is just so big and if we could get room in there, it, in my opinion, it would be awesome. I think my dad's on board with that too. Um, and I don't think um, the girls' parents are going to object to them going to an Apple, 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 right. Apple campus. That, that won't be a problem. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah. it's uh, safe, uh, you, there are a lot of people you can rely yeah, on there. So. Yeah. Kind of yeah. So, if you had to choose a place to work, where would that be? Um, well, it depends what's available. Um, no, if you really, really want to like the best one for you, where you really wish to work. Apple campus. <laughs> no, so that's easy. You're already there. Oh, oh almost there. Yeah. Um, yes, I'm already. I am already there. But I want to get a, a bunch of uh, more girls there too because um, if you start at a really young age, you get really good. Uh, you get really good. Uh, uh, you start to get good at, at a younger age, which means you get to do more with. Um, the t you get to learn more. You get to do more, and it just makes it a really cool environment. Tell us a little bit more about the first project, the first hackathon. What was that? Um, well, my first hackathon was a couple years ago in 2013. Um, we were at the TechCrunch Disrupt and we were doing a super fun kid time. Super fun kid time was a playdate finder, which was a secure playdate finder because honestly, during the summer, you had 
if you didn't uh, arrange a play date like before the summer started, you're kind of toast. You don't, you don't, you can't. It's hard to go. It's hard to organize it if you don't like have their phone number, email address, which most people don't think to get because you'd have kids be like, "Ooh, I want to go over to Bob's house." We don't have Bob's phone number. Oh, but um, super fun kid time. Um, it's a safe and secure. We're um, it's we're making it so it can be safe and secure, um, where a kid can just go say, "Okay, I'm in um, this elementary school, this class." And I want to go. I want to have a play date with Bob. And uh, you can see Bob's information, parents' information, um, parents' contact number, and you, and your contact number, so you can exchange contact number co contacts in a secure environment um, over the summer. Okay. So that's a proud dad, Richard. So Richard, how did all how did all happen at your home? Well, Alex has been. Um, I've been doing tech run hackathons since they, they started. Just it's a fun thing. It's a, it's a little bit of fun, uh, and usually Alex would come uh, pick me up at the end of it. I'd be tired and bleary eyed after no sleep for a couple of days, and every time she they'd raid the candy table, her and her brother, and then she'd be like, "Dad, I I, I want to do this with you next time." And she's been saying this since she was like six or seven years old, and uh, I finally gave in a couple of years ago when she was nine because she had the idea of a super fun kid time, like she said, a a play date finder so that parents can can connect so that the kids can have play dates which which is a, a you know a big problem that was that was that faces kids of her sort of age i thought it was a great idea we, we try and do it and she was she was doing code academy to learn her ruby and and she she, she was uh, already relatively competent in the html and that kind of stuff so we sat down and we we produced that not really thinking anything of it and uh she went on stage at uh at the hackathon and she just killed it you know 1100 people standing ovation and um it was a little tough in some ways for her because she got so much attention out of it that it was it was probably a little distracting because uh, you know obviously it was it, she inspired a lot of people and uh, which is very good the downside you know that's the upside the downside is obviously you get a lot of uh, a lot of people wanting that that you know your time and attention so she she took a bit of time out from from coding and doing other things she has other interests she's learning the French horn she plays basketball um, but a few months back she said you know I, I want to get back into the coding again can we do the do the hackathon again. I said, well, do you have any ideas? And she re reeled off a list of ideas. Uh, some of them were fantastic, but just we, we couldn't build them in a weekend. Um, and she had the idea of fantastic. And we said, well, you know, let's let's give that a go. It's a you know, shared planet for modern families where, you know, maybe they've got kids that sometimes spend time at moms, sometimes at dads, sometimes at grandparents. You know, we, we have that problem in our own family. How do you coordinate all this kind of stuff? So I thought it was a great idea. She, uh, you know, she, she led the building of it and, and she presented it on stage. And again, people loved it. It was, uh, you know, it's a great thing. Now what we, now, now, now uh, my job is to, to help her sort of finish these things off because obviously, you know, we all have day jobs. We all have to get that sort of stuff done. But she's, she's, a, she's a good project manager. She keeps me focused. Your dad said you had loads of ideas. What are the, the next ones, the next projects you're going to develop? Well, uh, it, we decided it was a little too complicated, but I had this uh, one idea. It was called Safe Two. You know YouTube. It's a very popular. Um, it's a very popular platform for videos. And um, then you have kids who search up like really weird things, like because my brother has autism, and he would go on he he would go on uh, YouTube and he'd search up SpongeBob, um, trying to come up. Of course, he's not looking for anything bad. He's looking for a regular episode of SpongeBob. But uh, if you don't, there, you can put Safe Search on. But Safe Search, it like restricts everything, even boring. That's boring, right? Stuff that, and then uh, it, it doesn't even like cancel the titles out. It says you can click on a title and say, "I'm sorry, Safe Search disables this video," or it's just like, "Oh, I really wanted to watch that." But SafeTube, it's kind of like a social media filter where um, you'll have uh, Joe's mom saying, no, I, I don't think this is very appropriate for uh, this kind of age. Then you'll have um, another kid's mom saying, I agree with you, it's not appropriate. So it kind of just puts a filter on it. What do you want to study in university? I would want to follow my dad's footsteps and go with like physics and uh, technology. Just that that kind of stuff. I'm not I'm not sure about what an exact thing, but um, just that kind, just something under that. 
Thank you very, very much. Have fun in TechCrunch Disrupt.